Hello and welcome. This is Ilian St. Hilaire and this is the short introduction to the developer tools for UPnP technologies. Uh, I put a few of the tools here on the desktop. You just get the installer and install it. We're going to start with uh, uh, Network Lite and Device Spy. Device Spy is probably the tool we want to use the most uh, for in this tool set. So what you do is you launch this tool and it will display, it will basically seek out and display all the UPnP devices on your network. So currently I have two. Uh, this is because I have a Microsoft home server uh, that is uh, on the network. Actually, you notice it from this icon here, if you're familiar with that. Now you can uh, open up the, the different services that are available for each device. And for each service, you will see uh, different methods that are available and you can go and start uh, invoking those. Now we won't go into these devices, what I'm going to do is open the network light, which is a uh, less complicated device, and it pops up here. Um, by the way, the network light here puts the name, um, uh, it puts the computer name next to its own name. This is very useful when you run multiple light bulbs uh, on different computers, you can just kind of tell which light bulb is on which computer. Now the light bulb has two services, a dimming service and a switch power service. These are the defined by the UPnP forum. You can check out upnp.org and get information on these uh, definitions. Now what I'm going to do is focus on the switch power service. I'm going to say uh, double click on get status and I can say invoke. Right now it's zero. I can also say set status, double click on that and I'm just going to arrange the windows here. So the set status, I can select true, say invoke, and you'll see the light bulb come in. False, then true again. And of course if it's true and the light bulb is on, then I can call invoke and you'll s on the get status and you'll see the light bulb is one. So false, invoke zero, true, and invoke is one. So pretty simple. Um, now, of course, you can do m much more complicated things. Now, we're going to focus also on the dimming service. So I'm going to say set load level. Here, this is a number between 1 and, uh, or 0 and 100, so I'll put just 50. Invoke. And you can see it's dimming. 10. Dimming even more. 90. There we go. And of, of course, you can say get load level and say invoke. Uh, and I can set it to 10% here and invoke and you see 10%. So pretty easy stuff. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, this device can have a presentation page. You'll notice that uh, if you click on the device you get a whole bunch of information about the device, where it's located and so on and so forth. This device is both IPv4 and IPv6 and so you um, uh, because of that, you'll see here that uh, we, just by luck, you happen to have found uh, the IPv6 version of the device on the local network. Now, if I run a bunch of devices, and I get lucky enough, so I'll run a bunch of network lights, if I get lucky enough, sometimes you, you can actually, now, now they're all detected IPv6, but if, if you get, if you click it sometimes, or if you run Windows XP, in, in that case you don't have IPv6 support, then, um, then you'll get IPv4 address right here. Now this device will actually be um, does broadcast and respond to both IPv4 and v6 and uh, the device spy tool also supports v4 and v6 but it just so happens that v6 is taken uh, takes priority. In fact you can see the two other devices here um, this one here is an IPv4. Okay so that's pretty much all there is to it for device spy. It's actually very useful if you're uh, planning on, um, you, you want to debug, for example, uh, uh, routers, or you want to goof around with your, uh, and see what uh, home devices you have on your network, and maybe control them, this is the way to go. Um, and this is a great reference application if um, to test things out. Okay, now I'm just going to show one more application, and that is device sniffer. I'm going to double click on that. And this application will only uh, display the SSDP messages. So if I double click on a network light, you'll see all the IPv4 uh, and the IPv6 messages for uh, notifying that this device is now present on the network. This is the internal messages that are used when 
uh, to, to discover the devices. And you can see my Microsoft Home server here is sending messages on both IPv4 and v6. And so you see that uh, show up. And if I turn off the device, you'll see notify bye-bye of the device. If I turn it back on, you'll see notifications. I can also uh, do a whole bunch of stuff here. I can click and see the uh, SSDP packet. Now, this this is a UDP protocol, um, but you know, the the syntax inside the UDP pro protocol looks like the HTTP. But um, but of course, this is nothing to do with HTTP. Uh, even though it says HTTP here. Uh, this 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 is really a UDP protocol, so it's it's the same HTTP header on top of UDP, and um, let's see, uh, you can also right click and open the device description, and it will pop up in your browser. Now so some browsers here have problems with V6, so we'll click on a V4, and on the V4 you should see the device description for the device. Now this. If you want to uh, get information on this, you can go to upnp.org and look at the standard. So this tool is very useful for debugging kind of a lower layer of um, of the UPnP stack. Um, by the way, one other thing that I want to show is you can search, for example, search all root devices, and it'll broadcast the search and get the responses back. So you'll see responses back coming from devices. They're time delayed, so not to flood the network. Anyway, there's a whole bunch of other fun things here you can kind of try to do. Okay, so this application will kind of test a lower level of UPnP. Most of the time you do not need Sniffer if UPnP works correctly. Uh, most of the people go to Spy and they can go and mess around with their uh, UPnP devices here. Now, once you've uh, played around with UPnP, if you're a developer and you want to uh, build your own UPnP stack to either uh, invoke methods here or you want to create a device and make it available in a network. This is another video where we're going to work and take a look at Device Builder. Thank you.